Hey everybody! So the lighting in this video is not going to be good. Yeah, I'm going to be one of those YouTubers that complains about the quality of the video before they actually get to the video. Okay? So this week is Nancy's topic and she wants to talk about GMOs. And this is my third time shooting this video because this is a very hard topic. Ah! Like, ah! It's hard to talk about without being frazzled and not getting your point across. <sighs> So I'm going to try it again. So I did my research for this video. I did watch the SciShow video that Andy posted on hers on Monday. And I did watch the documentary OMG GMOs that Nancy suggested. I even took notes. My notes are not going to make sense to anybody. So they're really for me. They're really for me. I was very interested by this documentary. I went in very skeptical because I'm skeptical about, skeptical about documentaries. This is my little tangent. My personal opinion, 90% of documentaries that are out there are not true documentaries. I firmly believe that in order to make a documentary, you have to come at a subject with no biasism and show all sides, both sides. Do not inject your personal opinion into the documentary. This film from the very beginning was projecting personal opinion into it. So that's why I don't believe it's a documentary. I believe it's just a film that's highlighting a cause because, you know, I can make a film highlighting the other cause and call it a documentary. And, you know, so I'm getting that out of the way. I came into this documentary very skeptical because that's just who I am. I'm very skeptical about things. But, um, so the first half of it, I was just kind of like the whole time, like, oh my God. And then when he put the chemical suits on the kids and ran them through the cornfield, that was even more like, oh my God. But then when we finally got near the end it was when I changed my mind and I became a little bit more acceptive of the things that he was saying. So, you know, I wrote things down like, um, I agreed with all the stuff about how the government feeds corporate greed and that it's um, corporate greed that is, you know, pushing along this whole GMO agenda and that, you know, when people say that the reason uh, we need GMOs is to feed the world, that's a whole lot of bullshit, um, you know, and that if we all planted organic, people wouldn't eat. I think that's a whole bunch of BS too. Uh, I think if, you know people grew organically and that was the only choice that organic would become cheap again there would be more farmers out there and that it would be a sustainable type of eating you know uh, there's a lot of people who local is their thing and they're driving local and they're people who are not rich um and they aren't the people who you know have the money to buy organic from the store they're making it themselves they're doing backyard gardens which i would love to do so i agree with the whole corporation side of it is what has made things evil i agree with that and i was and i was glad to have a lot of stuff back it up in the film um you know there was a, a comment that was made about short-term production uh for long-term consequences and that's really what we're talking about here is that GMOs are giving us more bang for our buck right now and right now is when we want it and that's how the world is nowadays you know we all want things right at our fingertips and as fast as we can possibly get it and and that's the real issue at hand with GMOs is that that GMOs offers quick right now I want it and we as a society just need to become more patient and with patience comes quality. And yeah, it may not garner quantity at that moment, but it's gonna be better for us in the long run. Now, will GMOs kill us? We don't know that. You know, city buses can kill you if you step out in front of them, and we're not gonna be getting rid of buses anytime soon. You know, my mother-in-law has cancer, and we know that her cancer was caused by a medical treatment that, you know, lots and lots of people get and it's helpful to them but for my mother-in-law it triggered something in her body that just decided to start making cancer so you know it's just one of those things technology is a double-edged sword it's going to be good it's going to be good until it's going to be bad and you know it's hard to to rein in something that started out as good and i have every belief that GMO started out as good because we needed help, you know, producing more food and keeping the bugs away and, you know, making things resistant. But in the long term, it ends up 
becoming bad. You know, people believe that cell phone uh, waves will give you brain cancer by holding it up to your phone or up to your head. So, you know, everything with technology is a double-edged sword. And it's just, it's a difficult thing. So personally, what you need to do um, is what is good for yourself. Me, um, I have an autoimmune disease. I can't eat gluten anymore. I am more, you know, conscious of what I'm putting into my body because it's, you know, making me sick. What what gave me my autoimmune disease? Who knows? Maybe it was GMOs. Maybe it was genetics. Maybe it was just a coincidence. Um, so, yeah. This is why this is a hard topic, because it's just everywhere, as you can tell by my napkin-riddled notes. So I hope that some of what I said made sense. I'm trying to keep this short. I've already reached six minutes. So oh, this is a hard topic. Nancy, you picked a hard topic. The easiest thing for you to do, ooh, I just made the computer shake. The easiest thing for you to do is go watch the documentary. It's going to take a little bit of your time, but I think it's worth it in the long run. Uh, take it with a grain of salt because again, I don't think it's a documentary. Um, I think it's a film just like Bowling for Columbine is not a documentary. I've talked a lot. I kind of screamed on this too. Um, <laughs> I love you all. Look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.